welcome back to h3 weapon deep dive today we've got another woodstock bolt action world war ii era rifle this is the k98k we are in home smg rifle bolt action k98k chambered in 792 by 57 mauser there's your bolt action clip fed of course do you preserve preserve do that's how that goes check it out let's take a look at the controls pretty typical bolt action controls left on the trackpad will change our safety if i can make it go here there we go there's our safety that's safe and that is fire there's our five round clip clip and push it's a clip and push <laughs> close her up ready to go simple as that what else we got going on? Any wibbly bits? No. Any adjustments in the stock? No. There is no magazine to drop out the bottom. So, of course, down on the trackpad doesn't do anything. That's about it. Let's look at attachments. See what will go on the barrel here. Muzzle brake will go. And the suppressor will go. And our where's our barrel extension? And the barrel extension will go. And the rail adapter will go. So, all the goodies on the barrel. Let's see if it has any rails. <laughs> no, no, no rails. No rails. No Russian dovetail mounts, of course. Uh, what else do we got here? Stock has a stock. Oh, don't forget. Battle spatula will go. Gotta have a battle spatula. Let's take a look at those sights right now. Here's our iron sights. We've got our rear notch mounted at the front. There we go. And the, these are cool sights because, right, you've got that front protective housing on there, but you've also got, if you look up close here, this circular pattern at the bottom of that rear notch. So, yeah, you get the front post and the rear notch lined up, but you also get the circles lined up. You get the circle from the front and the circle from the rear lined up. And you go bang. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if the sights adjust. 100 meters to... Whoa! 2200 meters! Good luck! In 100 meter increments. That is left and right on the trackpad, by the way. Custom scope! We've got the Car 98K, whatever that says, scope on it. There you go! So in addition to your irons, you've got this guy to work with. We've got, where is the adjustment? There it is. Base zero goes at from 100 to 500 in 50 meter increments and then out to 1,000 in 100 meter increments like all these seem to do. Does not have variable magnification and I keep forgetting to put bullets in it. There's one other thing I want to show you and that is even with the scope mounted, you can see the iron sights. That is super handy. Good job designing that one. Hey, now, here's a funny thing. You notice you got the scope on there. How the hell are you going to load it? Well, you can't. It doesn't allow you to load it with the scope mounted on there. Yes, you can even get the bullets in there, but the game will actually not let you do it until you pull the scope off. Then, pow, <laughs> the bullets will go in there and you can continue your mayhem. Yeah, see, here we go. We can see right through those. Or we can come up here and go through that. Super cool. Will it pass the sniping test? Can the car 98K hit five out of 10 shots, scoring a five or better uh, at our 400 meter target? Although I think that target's only scoring sevens or better because I haven't seen a single five or lower. It's either seven or up, but whatever. It's a black circle out there. That's the point. Ah, well, live and learn, right? Okay, so we're zeroed for 400 meters. Let's see how we do. Oh. These iron sights are brutal. So what I was having to do 
was really kind of aimed down low because in order to get it centered, you've got to get it to where that front post is barely visible. So it doesn't center up here with those top posts. It centers way down there where it's barely peeking above the V-notch and you can barely see it. And at 400 meters, with all the clutter in the background out there, that is really tough to manage. All right, let's try it with the optics zeroed for 400 meters and you're gonna notice a problem right away. Uh, it's kind of hard to load with the optic on there. And, all right, let's see what it does. Here we hit low. There we go. Need two more out of this clip. There we go. Yeah, I rushed the last three kind of on purpose just to see what it would do. It's kind of rough. Uh, could use with more magnification, that's for sure. And just having that center post down the middle, center line is kind of kind of rough to manage that. But it worked. We passed it with the optic. There you have it, the car on 98K. Till next time, I will see ya. Oh, go so fast. Go so fast. <laughs>